Okay, so I just want to show you a very quick trick, which is quite easy, but I just want to show you anyway. So this sometimes happens. Let's say you have a cylinder like this and you end up not giving it enough segments. And by that point, you're way too late because you've added like an edit polyn and have added edits. So you cannot really like do some proper segments around this. Now, a very simple way that you can fix this is you can go ahead and you can just select the segments. And then first of all, what you want to do is you, of course, want to add a little bit of extra geometry. Now, the way that I tend to do this, I tend to just add a very simple chamfer. And I just set this chamfer up, up. And if I, for example, go to like my top view, I just try to make it as round as possible. Let's say something like three. Um, here we go. So, oh, wow, I messed it up. Three. There we go. So, okay, so now you say, okay, so now I do have like enough segments, but it is not perfectly round at the top anymore. So if you have this problem, what I tend to do uh, is I tend to use the Sparify tool. So the Sparify tool is very handy, and I will also show you a few more examples, but this is the example that I often use it. Let's say I select one of my faces, I hold Shift and I click on my edge to convert it to edges. Now the Sparify tool is a modifier, however, the modifier can read selection, so it is not a modifier for the entire model, it is a modifier for whatever you have selected. So if you go down here and you scroll down, there is a... Da -da -da, where are you? Sparify over here. Sparify basically just means make it round. See? Before, after, and it just makes it perfectly round. Now this is very nice, because I can just convert the other poly. I can go ahead and do the same over here, for example. Yeah, if I just go to Sparify, there you go. So now we just have a perfectly round cylinder. Sure, these segments are not perfect, but when you get to this stage, you just kind of like need to make a, uh, um, yeah, you just need to make a little sacrifice. I, I don't think that's a wise word, but basically, uh, also, what I would do is um, I didn't do the chamfers as well. I could have done them so that they are more evenly divided. So that is for the Sparify. The Sparify is really great if you ever need to just quickly turn something around. Another way that we often use the Sparify is if we, for example, have a sphere over here. Although nowadays I believe that you have a geosphere. Oh no, no, wait, not. So if we have a sphere, sphere like this, the geometry is always going to like a single point, which you don't always want. Sometimes you want to have a very clean sphere. So what you then can do is you can grab a simple box, you can make this box like even numbers. So this is great, for example, for uh, high poly bolts and everything like that. Uh, you give it like some segments, let's say uh, 10 by 10 by 10. And then you can, on the object itself, you can throw on a Sparify, which will instantly turn this into a sphere again. But the sphere will have a slightly cleaner geometry. So then you just add like a smooth on top. And if I turn the, off my edge and faces here, it just looks like a sphere. But the geometry of it is a lot cleaner. So that's a handy way to get like very clean geometry in spheres, which you might sometimes need. And um, yeah, so basically the Sparify is very easy. There are many different ways that you can use this. Like I often also use it with booleans. If I ever um, grab something like... Um, so you can just ignore me right now because this is stuff that you have not yet... That we have not yet covered. So we will cover this later on. But basically. If I would create a very quick shape. And um, just please bear with me. Yeah, you can already see a sneak peek of something that we are going to cover. Here. So often what happens with booleans. Is that when you do a boolean on like a tilted surface. It might not always look very good. So let's say you have like a shape like this. And a boolean is basically just like a cutout. So let's say I grab like a cylinder and give it like a 18 polys. I'm doing this super quickly, so I hope that it will just work fine. Here, let's say uh, often if you have like inaccurate booleans like this, so you um, just very quickly like boolean. Oh, sorry, pro boolean. Ta, ta. Okay, so let's say you have this very weird uneven shape that you have over here. That It sometimes happens with booleans, but sometimes you cannot get around it. So this shape, um, although from 
its perspective it is looking correct if you would want to go ahead and like extrude this shape and you would for example um, make it flat over here you can see that often it is not a perfect cylinder i think yeah even, even now it's not a perfect cylinder it might feel like a perfect cylinder but it is not when you have that problem this is like a great way to also quickly use like a sparify uh, to just make sure that it is perfect that it is a perfect cylinder now this was a bad example but well it's not that bad of an example but uh, it's a very specific example but there are so many ways that you can use Sparify. Uh, these were just like a few quick tricks. So that is Sparify and also how to add some extra segments to your cylinder.